Hey guys, it's Costa here from Celebrity Oz. We're here at the Australian premiere of G.I. Joe Retaliation in cinemas in 3D. Stay tuned for the latest interviews with the stars on the red carpet. to the group. How was it like working with all the guys in G.I. Joe? It was fun. It was it was fun. I, like they became my brothers almost immediately. I mean you you're with them long enough in the middle of the desert, you know, you hear everything, you know everything, you smell everything. It's you know, we got really close really fast. What will audience you expect when they say G.I. Joe retaliation in cinemas in 3D? I think that they're gonna have a lot of fun, you know. We haven't had a really great popcorn movie actually movie in a while, so I'm hoping that people really love it. Are you excited to be here in Australia for the film's premiere? Yeah, of course. It's so excited. It's so exciting. Yeah, yeah I didn't expect that. Uh, good to see you. So, just again, do you have a favorite particular scene in the film that's your most favorite scene? Uh, okay. Uh, there is a escaping scene from prison. Um, Actually, it was made by uh, some uh, action uh, action coordinator in uh, Georgia, but um, me and my stunt double had, had some idea for that, so we changed the whole thing. So I really love it. I really love that scene. In the film, you play the theme. I do. So what about his character is different to all the other Joes? Um, Flint is, uh, we introduce him in this film, he's, he's a little bit younger version of the character than people are used to seeing if you're familiar with G.I. Joe. Uh, he's a bit more of a jerk. In his own way? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a bit of a lone gunman. He doesn't work, he doesn't play well with others, he has a problem with authority. Um, he's very skilled, but it, it, he, he has to learn to kind of work with people and stop butting heads. So, uh, that's definitely his journey in the film. So how was it like working with Dwayne The Rock Johnson himself and Bruce Willis? Uh, it was fantastic. You know, I'd never heard more positive rumors about anyone I've ever worked with before than Dwayne. From PAs to studio executives, everybody's just very effusive about uh, what a great guy he is, and he exceeded all of that. He's, he's one of the uh, most professional, kind, like giving people, you know, he's very famous and he makes time for everybody, so uh, I really respect him for that. And Bruce, obviously, you know, I you know, was obsessed with him. I watched all his movies when I was a kid and then I got to meet him and it was just happy to meet he was a guy from Jersey, you know, he's, he's from a, uh, a similar area that I'm from, similar background, and uh, he's just a goofball, you know, I felt like I was just, just back home. So, do you have a particular scene in the film that you can reveal to us that is your most favorite scene? Oh god, my most favorite scene. Besides the one where I have to watch Adrian take her dress off. That's probably uh, yeah. everyone's that was, favorite scene. That was a tough day. That was a really tough, tough day at work. So um, probably the VAB, the big, there's a pretty big uh, beginning action sequence where we're all together, like working as a unit, and uh, it was rare where we all got to shoot together and do our thing at the same time. So that was probably my favorite. Uh, what intrigued me about the role was the fact that it was a uh, that it was that it was GI Joe, and it was a it was a, a toy line a brand that I was familiar with since I was a kid. I thought I was GI Joe when I was a little kid. Played with GI Joe, so the fact that I'm here, we're in Sydney, I'm talking to you on a red carpet about GI Joe, man, it's cool. Did you have fun playing Roadblock? Fun was not the word that I had played Roadblock. It was awesome. Yeah. Enjoy tonight's premiere. Thank you. Drive it like you stole it. As your good friend, you need a new catchphrase. Know much about where I'm from, but I know it's right there everywhere I come. Government, let's get to work. So I wear my gun. I really don't like it, but I'm too young. This is gonna give me courage not to fear no one, to feel no pain and feel no fun. So I ain't with no screams and I shed no tears. The president says they can't come out of retirement. They didn't say anything about re enlisting.